bus go the talking kid is pretty great because this really breaks the fourth wall and i really adored it this was actually apparently never intended for public consumption this was made in 1929 directed by harman and ising to sell bosco so it's kind of the the um, pilot of bosco if you like and you can see why bosco would have been picked up from this because it's pretty great it starts off with um the animator drawing bosco and then bosco comes to life on the paper and he interacts with the animator and the animator makes him um like sing songs and, and play music and things and he's really engaging he's a really interesting character and i thought the animation style was great the way it blended in with the live action is really effective bosco became a very popular character and based on this it's clear to see why i have seen a handful of bosco cartoons but there are still quite a few that i have to watch and there's obviously the issue of, of racism that always feels like it needs to be addressed with bosco but bosco as a character is generally not that much of a stereotype there are not that many racist connotations in bosco cartoons but sometimes some do slip through with this one i don't think that's really the case at all because obviously you get to the point where you're saying well does that mean you can't draw or, or, or you can't caricature any black person otherwise it's racist whereas you can caricature basically anybody of any other color and it's fine whereas that's obviously a discussion for a whole separate video but obviously yes there is a caricature and a slight exaggeration here but generally speaking i think it's a it's a pretty safe bosco cartoon compared to uh, a small selection of some that are maybe a little bit more awkward but i can see why they would have showed this around to try and get it picked up it's very effective it blends live action and animation really well i love how bosco interacts not just with the animator but the world outside of the page and of course with things on the paper that the animator draws if you've never seen bosco before i'd say this is as good a place to start as any since this is what people would have seen to begin with when they were trying to sell bosco it's a pretty great place to start of course if you've seen other bosco cartoons and you haven't seen this I'd say it's one that's worth watching. I really enjoyed it. It is, from an animation perspective, a really good achievement. It's very entertaining. Bosco as a character is very likeable. He has a very likeable personality, which is obviously another thing that would have been important when they were trying to sell this character that they were pitching as a recurring character for a series. It's definitely one of the safer Bosco cartoons. And one that I say is, is absolutely worth watching. Based purely on this, it doesn't surprise me that Bosco went on to be pretty popular for a pretty good length of time.